So we added the color back. All geraniums, we put the landscape rocks in. It looks awesome. Planted that, 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 the two white ones. Those rocks. Yeah. Now the color's back. So uh, today was kind of easy in comparison to the last few days. We went to a local nursery. We got a bunch of flowers. We wanted something that is a perennial, meaning that it reblooms every spring. You don't have to replant it. It doesn't die for the winter that San Diego has. Uh, we wanted something that doesn't grow too big, something that can deal with having, I guess, what's considered a lot of water. All of that is irrigated, um, what, two or three times a week for 10 or 15 minutes. So that's kind of a lot of water. And the geraniums seem to be the best thing. Uh, they're called zonal geraniums. They don't grow too high. Uh, technically, they're an annual, which means that they, and the naming is terrible, which means that they only bloom once and then you have to replant them. But here in San Diego, they seem to continue going. We have geraniums that have been out there since 2013 at least, and they're still blooming. So we ended up with a bunch of those. We planted like nine or 11 plants or something today. It looks awesome. It brought all the color back and now it looks like that wall has been there for five years and not like we just built it three days ago. We moved the landscaping rocks back. One of them was like 300 pounds and we had to get a dolly to move it, but everything looks amazing. It's all illuminated very well. Uh, pretty much finished up the project today. So it looks great. We filmed it earlier today. Um, did some odds and ends today. Went to Casa de Reyes for dinner. Haven't been there in six months, so that was nice. And then since I got delayed coming out, and I got delayed by a whole day, and then the first five or six days of this trip have been nothing but projects, and we've got a couple more smaller ones to go. Although we did get some small projects done today too. The um, little foot stopper on my dad's bedroom door was broken. I replaced that today. We did the uh, V1 hardwire in the E60 today. We moved the hardwire kit from the E60 to the F10 when he got that, but the F10 only gets driven once a week. The E60 gets driven 12 days a week. So we want to have a hardwire kit in each so we can move the physical detector between the cars. So we ordered another hardwire kit, put it in the E60 today, and now we'll just move the detector between the cars. So I did that. Uh, little stuff like that and then the last landscaping project is out here to the right of the car There's another bed. I don't know if we're gonna do it this trip or not. We're kind of out of garbage can space But it kind of needs to be cleaned out. We have extra mulch. It can be mulched some trimming. It's not a real big area It's not a big job but um, We've got to work on that But then my Mac is done today. Finally, you know, it's been what? 11 12 days since I dropped it off. So I tried to check the online order status today and it keeps giving me the 404, counts not available, doesn't work, try again later, doesn't work, try again later. I've been seeing that for two weeks now, almost two weeks. So I tried calling the Apple store. I looked up the number for the North County Escondido, California Apple store. I called it, I get a computer. Um, I asked for check repair status. It sends me to a specialist. It rings 10 times, beep, 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 line's busy, terminates the call. So I tried, hey, book a Genius Bar appointment. Maybe I could, if I can get to a person there, they can transfer me to a person in the check repair status. Nothing works. It's always 10 rings and then beep, 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 busy, terminate call. So I was Googling today to see if Apple went out of business. Their website doesn't work, their store doesn't work, nothing works, their phones don't work, they've just shut down. But no, they didn't go out of business, it's just nothing works. So about an hour later, I get an email from Apple saying, hey, your MacBook is ready to be picked up. Okay, well, thanks for that. So I drove in there, picked it up, and I'm actually a happy customer at this point. So they replaced the top case with battery which means, I don't call it a top case, it's pretty much the body of the computer. Where the speaker grills are, where the keyboard is, that is new. 
with the battery. Thank God. I asked for that the first time. They told me that it met specs and they didn't replace it. And I send it back the second time and they do, whatever. So I get a new logic board, new display, new battery, new keyboard, um, new casing, speakers, everything on that computer is now new in the last two weeks except the bottom cover, the part that has the four black little feet stuck to it, um, which is just a piece of aluminum. There's no hardware, there's no electronics, there's no technology inside of it. It's just a cover. And there's a couple light scratches in that from traveling, airplanes, school, you know, this thing's been used for the last three years. Uh, so otherwise it seems great. I copied the stuff off the new one to an SD card, put it on the old one, copied everything. The little iStat menu says um, battery cycles one, capacity 100%, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, the Geekbench score is as expected, a couple hundred points lower out of a couple thousand. It's negligible. Uh, I don't notice it in real world. Uh, so if it works, I'm happy. Everything's great. Um, tomorrow will be the day where I determine if it works. I will pack up the new one and take that back and get my $3,500 back for that. Uh, and that'll be the end of the saga. So finally, it seems as if they've made things right. And then the other thing is the, the whole United flight that I was talking about. Since I got delayed, I want to stay a couple of days, but it's going to be a $200 change fee plus like $200 and $150 to $200 in a uh, ticket different, differing price. Uh, nothing from Frontier, Delta, American, Spirit. Everything's $355 one way. So I'm getting screwed on that. Um, I did select a flight from United with the change fee. It's going to be 319 or $210 into Akron Kent again. So there's a chance I would get screwed out of that if there's weather in Houston or whatever. But then United charges me five times for the flight. Like, I don't know, I can't do anything that actually works. And I was trying to do it at a restaurant at the at Casa de Reyes tonight in Old Town, and I kept saying, error, try again, error, try again. Well, little did I know, all of those attempts were working and charging my credit card. So I had to call United and have them void all the wrong attempts. It's just been a total shit show of a day with trying to make online systems work. But seemingly they have voided the old charges and left the good charges and the Mac seems to be working and I'm ready for bed. So we'll talk tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.